Hello family, uh, this is Zava, your boy, and today we're at the Appetite Museum with all the interns, every nation, there we are, you can see the pretty circle. So this is the uh, Appetite Museum right behind me, and we're gonna be having a lot of fun here. Um, yeah, I'm currently going through a personal crisis, but God is helping me out, so I couldn't afford to come here, so they graciously have paid for me, I hope. And do you remember this car? wonderful wonderful mission to Africa car so I'm really excited so the upper tech museum is right opposite Goldrift city can you imagine but of course you know which is more popular right um, Goldrift city but today um, we are really excited and I trust that God is gonna do some amazing things so let me jump in there um, and yeah but before just look at this cool what's it gonna feel when you hit the ground I don't know if you can read that but it says if you don't think you can see it don't die. So yeah, you can imagine. But yeah. Um and that's a group, a bit bit of a big group. We have some friends that are late. But yeah, it's exciting. So we're gonna see the upper day history, how black people were treated, the privilege that other races had in this country. You know, I'm not a whole big big on lingering on the racism thing, but um yeah, uh, it'll be good to see, um, you know, everything that they have in store today. And this guy with the nice car, Estian, is late. Look at them. Look at them. Now look at them pile out of the car like sardines. Look at them. Look at them. Smile! <laughs> Gonna, I'm just gonna read um, some of the some of these cards. Um, which, yeah, absolutely amazing. So this incredible walkway is designed is designed to show you the children of the uh, of you know of the birth of the struggle. Um, the children of the people who came to mine for gold and work in the gold mines uh, in, in in Gauteng in 1886. So it's pretty nice symbols um, that the early people, the Bushmen, the Khoi, the Sun, and you know, all those people used to carve. I hope it's not spiritual, because that would suck. But yeah, this is like that art and stuff. So pretty cool. So yeah, thank you. I guess it's trying to say that to people who say that others don't think. Okay, and then we are fighters, so you can see the hunters and all of these uh, people. I mean, nice, nice, you know, early South African history. Hunters, farmers, and all of that. Pretty cool. Um, this is a picture of the early hunter-gatherers, the ones who lived in the cave. Uh, were imprisoned, the language is extinct, and there was genocide against them. So, pretty hectic stuff. Yeah, so, I must say, very dour, very informative because I didn't even know about this group, you know. Um, yeah, and I guess because they have nothing, I guess they had everything taken from them. Pretty sad. But it is what it is, and we march on towards peace and reconciliation. This place is amazing. I'm gonna take tape quickly and secretly so that I can get as much footage without being kicked out as possible. Look at all of that. 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 Absolutely beautiful. Okay. 
place is hectic, but it's pretty amazing, you know, much cooler than I thought. You know, obviously a lot of money on but uh, it's a pretty cool place. Ooh, getting dark later. Getting dark. It's a pretty cool place. I must say, I'm really, really impressed. Uh, well thought out. It's not bashy. Um, it's not saying all oh, white people are evil, um, and it's not making blacks useless victims. But it's just telling the history as it's meant to be told, as it is. So I must say, I'm pretty impressed by that. I'm pretty impressed by that. And if you can hear in the background, it's uh, all the videos playing. Um, there's quite a number of videos playing, um, you know, showing Mandela, uh, Ahmed Katrada and so many other people uh, from the liberation struggle. So, I mean, it's amazing and I've learned a lot about the history of South Africa just from this uh, and short trip here. So, let me just show you. What I would call where you could get away from that is it's amazing. This is the closest I've ever been to this vehicle. It's a real beast, isn't it? That's it. Awesome. like some of the detention cells. I mean, look at this man. Goodness. That's only like people had. So yeah, you can imagine. Let me just pull the door closed. Sorry, the door's even heavy. <laughs> yeah, you can imagine. Imagine, there's no bed in here. Look at it, look at it, it moves, it moves, it moves. Yeah, look how bad this is. Torture. 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 Just amazing. Okay, I see the guard, so I'm backing out. But yeah. My friends, uh, we're just out of the museum. Ooh, I mean, after a while, it's very draining. You just feel so bad. The violence, all the things that people are saying and doing in there, you know, after a while, you're like, oh, it's time to get out. So now we're about to have lunch. There's a couple of nice restaurants around, obviously. Pretty nice um, in there. I don't know if you can see that. And we have some nice bookshops with items in there. That's a pretty cool. So yeah, I must say, um, it's just good coming here. Um, it's good to have this low, then go to the high of gold city. Um, and again, I think that reconciliation is a best way forward. There is healing for this nation, for this people. But we just have to come together for that. Um, yeah, and even in my own country, I come from Zim, and it's equally broken, if not more so than South Africa at the moment. So we all trust God for healing. Yeah. Pretty. It's a good outlook. So I don't know if I'm gonna post anything from the Apartheid Museum again, but I will be posting from Goldrift City and look at the people. Some of them look down, some of them look happy. Yeah, so, but I just moved it quickly because I don't have consent. But goodbye.